So I'd like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to work with our, the senior design team here on a TAPS program, UNL TAPS, and TAPS stands for Testing Ag Performance Solutions. Uh, I'm Chuck Burr, I'm an extension educator located in North Platte. Along with me today is Crystal Rhodes. Crystal is our TAPS manager. And Darren Rudnick will also be on the, the contact information uh, as we get a little bit deeper into this TAPS uh, design project. So this kind of a background on our TAPS program. This is our fifth season, fifth growing season. And it's really a unique farm management competition. So all these different farmers, whether they be individuals or on a team, are competing against each other and also competing against UNL with our recommendations for crop production. Uh, so we started back in 2017 really to promote profitability and efficiency in crop production. And really what we've established here is a peer-to-peer -peer network uh, really allows our participants to test new methods, new products, you know, maybe they've never had that experience of working with satellite imagery or drone imagery. You know, what does that mean for their farming operation? Can it save them some money on the nitrogen application, nitrogen fertilizer, or maybe reduced irrigation application? So it gives them the chance to test this out before they go home and apply it on their farming operation. So currently in 2021, uh, we have 30 teams in our sprinkler corn competition. We do have a subsurface drip irrigated corn competition at 16 teams as well as 16 teams in a sorghum competition. Those are all housed here at North Platte. We have an additional program on winter wheat production out at Sydney, and there's 20 teams involved in that. In addition, uh, we have a colleague in Oklahoma State that's picked this up and hosting a corn and a cotton competition through the TAPS program. Uh, you can see we've really grown over the years. The first year we just had that one competition and we've really expanded every year. Uh, not only in Nebraska, but as I said, in other states as well. And as we look to the future, um, you know, there's a possibility of adding additional competitions in other states. Colorado and Kansas are looking at that, uh, adding a competition. In addition, we're looking at expanding more locations across the state of Nebraska. And that's where we really, really need your help because uh, this has become very time consuming and almost monotonous, if you will. All the data that we're collecting how do we get that stored? How do we get that back to the producer, the participants, and then also have that data available for us to produce a final report at the end of the year? Uh, you can see we've had a lot of sponsors and, and donors. This is uh, 2020 information here, but all told, we've had at least 75 different uh, banks and industry partners, You know whether they don't want cash money for the awards or the banquet, uh, they provide seed for us and all the imagery and, and technology products as well. So a lot of sponsors providing input and support for this program. So basically our participants each make a series of management decisions. And at the beginning of the season, they select a crop insurance package. They tell us what hybrid to plant and at what seeding rate to plant that hybrid. Uh, they also tell us how much nitrogen to apply and when to apply that nitrogen. And there's actually six different time periods when they can apply nitrogen whether it be before the crops planted or as the crops growing in the field through fertigation, through our irrigation system. Uh, they also tell us when to apply irrigation water, how much water to apply, as well as marketing decisions. So they have to tell us how they would market their bushels on a simulated either 1,000 or 3,000 acre corn farm or a sorghum farm. So basically they have to market between 300 to 700,000 bushels during the growing season. And we keep track of all this information you know, when they make a nitrogen decision, we, we get an email on that. And then it's been Crystal's responsibility uh, to take that information and, and put it where it needs to go. So I'll turn it over to Crystal now to explain that in more detail. Thanks, Chuck. So I'm going to go into a little bit of detail on how we do it right now. Like Chuck said, it's a little bit of a monotonous project. Um, it takes a lot of time and it's definitely a multi-step project, but it's very detail oriented. And so it's, it's tough for us to do it. Um, just because there's a lot of ways we could make human error. So we're looking to have a software program or Excel database um, produced to collect and report this data to participants in real time as they make the decision. So this kind of shows how it is processed, and I will go into each of these um, separately. But the participant makes the decision, and then an email is generated to our TAPS um, email, and I get those. And then I take those decisions and put those into the competition spreadsheet, which houses all of those um, 30 teams in sprinkler corn or whatever the competition is, as well as into each 
separate participant spreadsheet. From there, the competition spreadsheet is used for data collection and results tabulation um, from our team. And then the participant spreadsheet is loaded onto the participants online portal. So let me step into that and show you a little bit about how that is done. So in order for a participant to make a decision, they come into our website, which is taps.unl.edu. They click on competitions, and then they choose which competition they're in. Each team has a password protected site on here where they make all of their decisions. They are provided a password at the beginning of the year that they use. And then once they get in here, they go in to make all of their decisions um, right here on the right hand side. We also provide them with their the record, which is that single spreadsheet that we put everything into. So it is uploaded here. And then we also take um, plot photos throughout the season, which are also found here. So this, this one site of theirs is very important to them. So they just go in and make these decisions in each of these management decision sections. And when they make a decision, it's, it generates an email to us. And then from that email, we take it and put it into this main database. So this shows who the participants are. And then their first decision of what irrigation tool, as well as insurance, planting, nitrogen, irrigation, marketing. And then at the end of the year, we will put in their yield data to help determine the winners of the competition. From here, some of it auto feeds into their, the participant spreadsheets, and it just shows all of those decisions by, or by participant. So they can see here how much nitrogen they've put on, when that's been put on, how much irrigation's been put on, um, the fertigations, and then as well as all of the marketing decisions that they've done. This also generates their budget. So all of those numbers from the management record autofill into the, this budget for all of those decisions they've made. So irrigation, um, their nitrogen decisions, their seed costs, their insurance cost. So those are all updated as well. We also have a data tab here that shows any data that we've put in throughout the season. So soil samples, um, residue cover information, um, tissue sampling, as well as those plot photos that we do throughout the season. And the plot photos that we do, those are done on Smartsheet. And those, you can see th everybody's um, plot throughout the year. So you could go down and, and compare one participant to the next and see what your, your plots are looking like compared to others. And if there's a way that we can streamline that at, during this project, um, that would be a prime thing as well. So, so that kind of talks about how we manage it all right now. Like I say, it's, it's, a, it's a daunting task, but that's what we're hoping that you guys can help us out with. Um, the secondary project, I'll turn back over to Chuck for him to visit with you a little more on that. Yeah, so this part of the project, uh, what we'd like to do is we've collected a lot of data on each of these individual plots over the last five years. And to, to me, it's kind of like when you watch a sporting event now, they say, you know, this person scored this many points in the third quarter. They're the 